Yes, go ahead. On page 23, at 30 meters, you will need to set BBS to initial and uh, do not activate operation. Yuri, I'm sorry, pull BBS to initial. Yes, at 30 meters. Not yet. Okay, so what? 40 meters, 45 meters. 0.16 range rate. PO BPS to initial and operation, right? No, BPS to initial, then operation. Inaudible enabled. Copy. So far, so good uh, for the Progress 52 on its automated approach for docking to the pier's docking compartment of the International Space Station. Progress uh, moving into an orbital sunset over the southeastern Pacific Ocean. Soon to approach uh, the west coast of South America, we'll be flying directly over Ecuador. We're about four minutes away from docking, some 20 meters separating the Progress from the pier's docking compartment. I have a visual on the target. The target is to the left, half a degree to the left of the uh, electronic uh, crosshairs and half a degree. Uh -huh. And pitch. 25 meters, 0 decimal, 12 meters per second for injury. Can you see it? Yes. The crosshairs are uh, aligned. Should we do the back out uh, on plus X axis? Why? Why would you want to do that? Yes. Just enable. Just enable it. Okay, and we just lost the image again. Okay, and Pavel, we're watching telemetry and the process is going well. So even if you don't see it, it doesn't mean it's not going well. Right, so all crosshairs are at zero. The target is... This is the view, uh, albeit a bit shaky, from uh, the camera on the progress vehicle. Crosshairs. Just about nine meters away. Zero point. You can see the um, uh, the crosshaired uh, docking target just underneath the docking port itself to the pier's docking compartment, which also serves uh, as an airlock for Russian-based spacewalks. And that'll be the airlock from which uh, Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin emerge for a pair of Russian spacewalks on August 16th and August 22nd. And between, and how how much would you assess between you and it from the window? The crosshairs are about 0 0.4 degrees to the left of the center of the electronic crosshairs, and the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Range rate is 0 decimal 12 to 0 decimal 14. That's good. The progress has slowed to uh, the proper docking rate of about one tenth of a meter per second. Standing by for contact and capture. Don't shine the flashlight in his eyes. Yeah, no, but I need some light. Here, so I could see the target. And uh, the crosshairs are aligned. 
losing image again. Okay, Pasha, you don't need to worry about TV now. Please don't touch anything on it. No, no. I'm keeping my hands away from it. And I'm watching the probe entering the cone about uh, half a meter left. Target is at the center. Uh, no angular shift. 20 uh, millimeters. The uh, probe is inside the cone. Everything's good. Standing by for a contact. Contact confirmed. Yeah, and we see that. Uh, Docking confirmed. confirmed as well. cool. Contact and capture at 9.26 p.m. Central Time. Progress 52 completes its fast track to the International Space Station, docking uh, to the complex over the uh, Pacific Ocean, approaching uh, the west coast of South America. Uh, it's all good. Thank you. Uh, we got a little warm here from worrying so much. Can we stop recording on end viewer? Wait, uh, let's wait for the hard mate to uh, be done. But we're not seeing any image past the crosshairs, so I don't know how valuable that would be. Moscow Station on Space Ground 1. The uh, docking occurring right at the uh, split second it was planned to after a flawless uh, five hour, 45 minute uh, venture from the launch pad at the uh, Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan uh, to the International Space Station. Docking occurring at 9.26 p.m. Central Time. What did he say? Over the uh, South Pacific as uh, the International Space Station and the Progress 52 cargo craft approached uh, the west coast of South America. The relative motion of the two vehicles now beginning to dampen out a bit. Uh, this will enable the uh, forward docking probe on the progress to begin to retract and initiate the closing of hooks to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. I understand what you're saying. Guys, you go to uh, stop recording. TV record. Copy. In work. Stopping. As far as the downlinks, there will be some recommendations later. Uh, we're still discussing whether there's going to be any value to it or not. I guess for memory's sake, for historical value, yeah, I guess at most. Mm. Nikola, I guess we're acting for page 27 on MCC Go, and uh, we're standing by for that Go. Okay, copy. So as we stand by uh, for the uh, docking probe to retract and the hooks to close to form a hard mate, uh, once again, to recap, uh, the Progress 52 cargo ship launched on time at 3.45 p.m. Central Time, 2.45 a.m. Baikonur Time at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Sunday morning. The uh, launch uh, occurring uh, on the dot, sending uh, the Soyuz booster and the Progress resupply ship on an almost nine-minute journey to uh, deliver the Progress to its preliminary orbit all of its uh, navigational antennas and its solar arrays deployed uh, as planned, and the Progress executed a flawless uh, five-and-a-half-hour rendezvous over four orbits uh, to reach uh, the International Space Station for an on-time docking at 9.26 p.m. Central Time over the South uh, Pacific, uh, just off the west coast of South America. The Progress is delivering to the station 
1,212 pounds of propellant, 